All right, arsenicum. The arsenicum. You want to? Uh, there are um, a lot of women who participate in the state of arsenicum. It's one of those remedies that um, you don't have to be an arsenicum personality, but you may find yourself going into an arsenicum state. And the, um, the core issue of arsenicum is security. And so naturally, a lot of women in pregnancy go into security issues, all right? Whether uh, it's, I really want a father for my baby, or how will we afford this child, or do we have room for this, or will my body handle another pregnancy? Uh, and often, it, the core issue being security, and, but it's, it's very much, it's a, uh, it's very much a physical security, okay? Uh, our symptom is very um, invested in their physical security. How will we eat? How, where will we live? Will we have enough money? Uh, more so than it, like emotional or psychological security. And arsenicum is one of these remedies, too, that where a woman can get very uh, nervous and very paranoid and doesn't want to be alone. Oftentimes she, uh, she will even have her mother-in-law come and stay with her, not her favorite person particularly, rather than be alone. She has a lot of fears of being alone um, in later pregnancy. And especially after the baby is born, she doesn't, you know, if her husband works nights or her husband leaves town, that's very terrifying to a, 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 an arsenicum person, all right? She likes to, arsenicum, because of security, often will have a lot of um, control issues. And those are not issues for her, that's just a way of life. That's just how you live your life. You, you like to have things in, um, you like to know where they are, and you like to be in control of things. And also, arsenicum probably likes to be in control of you. N not necessarily that she needs to control your life, but she needs to control your life as it intersects with hers. Meaning that if you're going to go on a vacation, or if you're going to be out of town, she expects you to tell her, all right? And she expects you to give her a number at six months pregnant, not just at 36 weeks pregnant, okay? So, um, Arsenicum is an interesting woman. All right. Um, she's kind of easy to spot. All right. She's usually very well groomed. Um, she dresses nicely. Arsenicums do like a lot of black, though. It can be a tip off for an Arsenicum. Why? Because black is so basic, black is secure. All right. Black is um, the answer. All right. Uh, and uh, she'll be very, be very uh, correctly dressed, often uh, even prim, put together really well. She is not a messy, sloppy person, all right? And you, you kind of know that. And um, she can be judgmental, you know? She can be the kind of person that can look at your clothing and automatically assume that she knows who you are and what you're all about, all right? And oftentimes, uh, in her world, she's right. And uh, because those, she makes those judgments about uh, people for herself, and she knows how to interact with people, all right? Uh, she sits up straight in your office. She won't be lounging, all right? She won't be wearing bohemian clothing. Uh, she may even be looking around your, your office or your home or, or her home even, and she wants everything in order. She will come over and she will straighten the eraser, all right, without even realizing she did that. It's just a way of life. She'll go someplace and she'll put things in order because she really needs her life to be in order, all right? That's her, that's her thing about control. You get the impression that's, that she is used to being in control, all right, at all times. And um, she also has an, almost a compulsive need for control. And this, once again, masks her insecurity or her need for physical security, all right? Uh, and it may surface in a very pessimistic and critical, our symptom can be critical and pessimistic, all right? Because oftentimes where her mind goes are to the, how it won't work out rather than it will. Why? Because arsenicum is your typical plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan D. 
and isn't comfortable at all if she doesn't have all of those plans um, in, uh, in perfect complementation with each other. All right, um, she's also a pillar to post woman. You may realize that your arsenica mom also has her own chiropractor, her massage therapist, her childbirth educator, all in the wings, all right? She has talked to a number of different midwives. She may even let you know that she's done that and compare them. Well, so-and-so does this. Do you do that? Do you bring oxygen? Well, how full is your tank? That, uh, 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 an arsenic can ask you those kind of questions, all right? Um, however, she gets attached to you. She gets very, very attached, and she will also be the kind of woman that has a hard time letting you go, especially after the pregnancy is over. Uh, our our symptom people can feel very abandoned, like a pulsatilla, but from a different way. A pulsatilla is needy emotionally. Our symptom is needy physically and mentally. All right, and there's a difference in how that's displayed. And um, you'll, you'll know it. Pulsatilla will apologize to you for being needy, all right? Our Seneca will, will not. Our Seneca will, will justify it by, you know, you're, you're my caregiver. That's what you're supposed to do. And, um, and I'm paying you. Our Seneca looks carefully at where her money goes, all right? Because oftentimes she's, she's very worried about it. Um, they create order in order not to be anxious. So if you understand this with an arsenicum, you can really help them. She doesn't like being anxious. She can be a very anxious remedy. It's one of our number one remedies for panic attacks. All right? We have aconite for panic attacks. And aconite is where someone has just been paralyzed and shocked. Arsenicum, it's not that etiology. Uh, it, it's not like she's been shocked by something. It's more like there's a growing neediness and insecurity, and that will explode into a panic attack. All right, very good remedy for that. And if you know that this woman is prone to anxiety and insecurity, well, you can easily allay her fears by, by giving her um, a very good description of what you're doing, all right? Um, having her understand your, how you take care of her. She will thrive on um, knowledge, all right? Uh, knowledge about her body and her environment makes her comfortable. If she understands exactly how a person can grow a baby without overtaxing them themselves, she can relax into that. If she, for instance, if she understands that a natural healthy woman who eats a um, a, a diet of the, that is nutritious, all right, and nurturing, will grow 50% more blood. Our cynic will hang on every word. Why? Because that piece of knowledge will give her security about her body and her pregnancy and her baby. See? That's how that works. Whereas a, a phosphorus doesn't particularly care to know all of that. Some other remedies don't. But our cynic really is interested in information. All right? And information about the things that we talk about, about the carbohydrate, you know, shift. How that will really make sense to her. How you get all of the, the, um, the glucose in early pregnancy when, and you'll put down maternal stores. Okay, because this is our Seneca. How will my body, all right, and, and we said her levels of security are really often very physical. How does my body do this? Our Seneca will really unfold and be allayed and love you and, and really want you to be part of her life, okay? Even though you'll also notice she has a lot of backup plans in case you disappoint her, all right? And it can be easy to disappoint an arsenicum because if you kind of go out of her control a little bit, if you want to be self-directed, okay, oftentimes arsenicum has a concern with that. Our Seneca may be the kind of woman who uh, enjoys being in your control and doesn't mind you managing the birth for her. All right? No, you do that. You do this. Is, this is what I'm paying for. This is your thing. She might just look, tell me what to do. All right? As long as she knows that she has ultimate control over you in that sense and that you fill those needs for her. 
all right? She has an attention to detail that is unsurpassed, see? She will want to know what all of your equipment is, what you bring to the births, how to set up the room, and some of your prenatal care with her will also be her showing you how this is how I'm going to do it, and if, if I don't feel like being over here, uh, then I've got this place set up over here, and if that's not working, I'll be there in the bathroom, and she enjoys you embracing that with her. All right, she really does. She feels heard and listened to when you listen to her detailed plans and make comments or even make some little suggestions, but, but not necessarily tell her, well, I don't think you're gonna need that. That's a showstopper for an arsenic, all right? Um, arsenicum has high standards for herself, though. She really does. Uh, for the most part, an, ars an arsenic person is what you would consider a very decent person. But arsenic will recycle. Why? Because that would be the most disorderly thing on the planet not to recycle. And we might need some of that somewhere else. So it's natural for her. All right? She has very high standards and she expects you to. All right? So one of those high standards is that she will invest in you. She will become attached to you. She expects the same. She expects you to notice what's meaningful to her and to make a comment about it, all right? She does expect you to be on time. She expects you to have all of her, all of your papers in order. She expects you to know what we're going to talk about. She doesn't like spacing this. It gives her panic, all right? She'll panic in that sense that my caregiver is spacey. Right? What, what, what's going to happen now? All right? And even the littlest things can sometimes send our sanco right off. Um, actually, what you may find yourself in a position of being is that very few people can really live up to our sanco standards. And you might find yourself kind of irritated or resenting our sanco. But honestly, really, an our sanco person can be very wise, very intelligent, have a really amazing grasp of what's going on in pregnancy, really appreciate you. If an arsenic person really appreciates you, you've done good work. You, you see what I'm saying? There's always that woman that if you make her happy, you know that you're, you're that makes your day. Because she's not always easy to make happy, uh, okay? But, she really is appreciative, and um, she's a very good member of society, right? She has high standards for society. She doesn't believe in doing things halfway, all right? She doesn't believe in taking what doesn't belong to you. She doesn't believe in, in um, messing things up and, and just leaving them like that. And you can really appreciate the arsenicums in our culture, all right? All right? Um, she has an unrealistic fear of poverty and, uh, and an arsenicum in design, uh, in de decline may moan about, you know what I mean, or make mention of, well, the, the fee or, or, or money or her partner not making enough money to, to focus and uh, her pregnancy and focus their life now. She really does. And she has this really odd very particular fear of robbers. She actually will dream about people breaking in. She will be, this, this is another reason she does not like to be alone at night. She has this very obsessive and unrealistic fear that she probably will not tell you about because she'll think she's crazy, but she has this fear of people breaking in, all right, and robbing her or harming her in some way, all right? And um, that's why she doesn't like to be alone. Okay. Um, she is frugal, all right, uh, especially when it comes to spending money and actually especially on others, all right. She feels uh, spending money can be very wasteful and she will not buy you anything ever, okay, that is frivolous. She does not spend her money frivolously, all right. And she can hoard things and Arsenicum is one of our number one hypochondriacs. 
things. This is the remedy, this is number one for hypochondria. Our Senecums always seem to have something going on. This is why they have to have many different plans of action and many different caregivers in the wings. She'll have an MD and she'll also have her holistic healer. She'll have her massage therapist, but she'll also have her chiropractor. See, it's very much pillar to post and she will spend money freely there. She'll spend money on anything that brings her security. She'll spend money on a, you know, a, an alarm system for her house, right? She'll spend money on having caregivers in her employ, really. Uh, she, anything that can allay her, her physical insecurity. Our, our symptom is not really emotionally insecure. She doesn't really go there. Our, our, she doesn't worry too much about how her emotions uh, impinge on others, really. Why? Because she worries more about, um, can I control you? And she doesn't really say it like that, but this is the underlying core that we're looking for. Her need to be controlled. And, you know, you can give her, you can understand, you can give her what she needs. Once you get arsenicum, it's very easy then to give her what she needs in a heartfelt way. No one likes to be controlled, but if you understand that this is her core issue, you can do things for her that make her happy and that make her feel a sense of security. All right? And even if you are resentful, you may come to her house and you may be annoyed uh, with her in the sense that um, she can be very obsessive about, like, she'll be taking vitamins and supplements, and this is her regime. And you, you may feel like this is overdoing it, and, and what but she needs then. You don't want to just disrespect those things, all right, unless you have something else to offer that she will also value. So you might say, all of these vitamins and minerals and supplements, I mean, what do you, what do you think you're, what do you need these for? All right, she needs them for security. You, you don't even have to ask, you, you see? So, if, if you're feeling like she's overdoing it on something, you want to give her something to replace it with that makes her feel secure. Otherwise, you leave a big vacancy there and she'll panic. Okay? She'll panic. All right? Um, this arsenicum is our number one remedy for fear of disease, for fear of getting a disease, for fear that you already have a disease, and usually it's something, it's the number one remedy for fear of cancer, for fear of getting cancer. Our senecums are often obsessed with the idea that they have cancer somewhere in their body and it hops around to all different places. Okay, it's cervical, no, it's a brain tumor, no, it's, it's bone cancer. Any, any little thing that comes up, the first thing that our senecum will roll the decks is, okay, is this cancer? Is this the end? Is this it now? This one is really it, all right? Not the one last year. This one is really it. And she needs, she needs somebody to walk her through that, okay? That can be a very difficult place for a person to be, fear of dis-ease, uh, all right? And so um, someone walking her through that, someone listening to her, not feeding it, we're not saying feed her hypochondria. We're saying give her arsenicum is what we're saying, actually. All right? All right? But um, because she likes things like this. She'll read all kinds of health things. She'll go on the internet. Um, she's not as susceptible as a phosphorus. Phosphorus is also a very fearful remedy. We're do them together. All right? But phosphorus is emotionally fearful, whereas arsenicum can be very physically fearful or mentally fearful. So our senecum will read things on the internet, as will phosphorus, and they will both think they have everything that they read. Phosphorus is an acute remedy for a person who thinks that every time we do a homeopathic remedy, they think that's them. They have no boundaries. They think they're at, they, for a phosphorus. Our senecum has very clear boundaries, hence this control. Phosphorus does not. It's the exact opposite. Phosphorus has no boundaries and very difficult to control themselves, but is also very fearful 
and fearful of disease. But if they come to it from a totally different place, all right? Um, uh, here we have dietary supplements, health magazines, all kinds of treatments are the mainstay of the arsenicum person. And this is the basic arsenicum fear of physical annihilation. Okay, big one. Um, another obsession of arsenica, just so that you know, because this will come up in pregnancy, is obsession with their bowel movements. All right, they do not like to be constipated. They will ask you for treatments or things, something to do about that, and you will want to explain, like we did yesterday, why you will have changes in your bowel movements when you're pregnant, because they will think it's colon cancer. All right, and you want to allay that right away. All right, as we said, the most frightening fear is the ever-present threat of cancer. All right. All right, so are are silicon and phosphorus like? They're sisters, kind of? Like they're... Well, they're both elements. They're both mineral. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they're both necessary for life in certain quantities, in trace quantities. Uh -huh. um, but phosphorus is absolutely a very no boundaries, whereas arsenicum is all boundaries. And phosphorus and an arsenicum in a car in the back seat together taking an eight-hour journey, do you know what I mean? Will, like sisters, end up fighting. Yeah. Okay? They will end up fighting because their approach to life is completely different. Because the phosphorus has got her feet on the arsenicum and the arsenicum is like... <laughs> your feet are dirty. Your feet are dirty. <laughs> okay. yeah. You know? And, and um, that kind of thing. And you're getting a hair, hairs on you. Close the window. The office says, no, let's let the... You know? <laughs> so out there out There's no that. boundaries with phosphorus. <laughs> it's all boundaries with our senses. That's so interesting. Yet they are both very fearful people. Now, phosphorus in, it can be very susceptible. All right? As can arsenicum, but in different ways. Phosphorus is very susceptible in the, the realms of the psyche. Spiritually susceptible, hmm. all right, whereas arsenicum is not.